All right then. So now you know a little bit more about what ESA database is. In this lesson, we're going to talk about an application that we are going to build to get a better idea of how ESA database works. With the application, we're going to make, we are going to learn about the key concepts in the world of ESA from schema and collections, type converter, CRUD, which is create, read, update, and delete, the different indexes in ESA database, queries, full text search, transactions, and watchers. We will spend a decent amount of time to make sure you understand all of them. Okay, here's the app we are going to build. It's a simple application that will help us understand how ESA works. So what are we building? We are building a routines app, a simple app where a user can actually add their routines, update, delete, and view. So first things first is a call to action that allows you to create a routine. It will enable you to select a category, either work, school, or home. You're able to, the user will be able to enter a title, which, is, which will be send emails or submit assignment, a start time and a select a day. Then, then the user is able to add. At the point of adding, it will be created in the ESA database and recorded. And the user should be able to view and the app should be able to read from the ESA database and display the routines that have been added in the ESA database on this screen. So in the category section, it being a drop down will allow the user to, to enter or to create their own categories through this screen where they'll enter the category name and add, and this will be populated in the drop down. At the point of selecting a routine, the user will be navigated to this screen where they'll be able to view the routine and the details of that routine. And the fields will also be editable so that they can be able to update anything that they need to update either a title, start time of the day. And this update will be recorded in the ESA database. And also in the same screen, there's a delete functionality where the user will be able to delete as the specific routine from the ESA database. So that's about it for the application overview. Next up, we'll generate our first Flutter app for this series. Please ensure you have set up your Flutter environment. If you don't know where to start, I would re highly recommend to check out my Getting Started with Flutter video before you proceed with this series. I'll leave the link below, down below in the video. Till then, I hope you're going to join in and be on your way to be a Flutter champ. And I'll see you guys on the next video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, subscribe to these videos and I'll see you on the next one.